We're going to be looking at the surface area of basic 3D shapes. In this video, we cover the surface area of a rectangular prism, the surface area of a cylinder, and the surface area of a triangular prism. We're going to start the video with the surface area of a rectangular prism. So here I gave you some values, and we are going to find out what the surface area of this rectangular prism is. Uh, we know that we have the base times height to find the surface area of a rectangle, and that's going to be a tool that we're going to use quite a lot in this problem. You can see that if I make a net diagram of my rectangular prism, it actually becomes six rectangles. Each rectangle can be found by multiplying the base and the height. So let's go back. We're going to find out the surface area of this shape here, which is four times two. Now I know you know four times two is not 16. There's two sets of them. That's because the front and the back of my rectangular prism are the same. This will coincide with the fact that these two sides will be the same, the right side and the left side, and the top and the bottom. Right, so three times two will give us six, times two will give us 12. And then our top and bottom this four is going to go up here and this three is going to go up top as well. We can show you in the net diagram as well. We have our front and our back side. And we'll show the values for all those. We have our right and our left side, right side, left side. And we have our bottom and our top, bottom and top. So we have two sets of three times two and two sets of four times three. After you find the surface area of each face of a rectangular prism, you can just add together each of the values. So we have 12 plus 16 plus 24, it's going to be 52 feet squared. Now it's a two-dimensional problem, so we're going to have a two-dimensional answer here. You want surface area, you're going to end up with squared, because a feet times a feet will give us feet squared, or foot times a foot. Let's go back to our menu. We are now taking a look at the surface area of a cylinder. Cylinders are interesting. They have two circles, right, the top and the bottom, and then this weird shape wrapping around the cylinder. Nice thing about that is it's actually simpler than it looks. You can unwrap this shape. You can imagine a pop can with a wrapper around it, and if you take that wrapper off, it becomes a nice rectangle. Now, the top of that wrapper, the length of it here, is unknown to us. Well, let's remember that if we wrapped it around the circle here, the length of this top here would be the literal distance of the circle's circumference. So the circumference, 2 pi r, is going to give us the top value of our rectangle. So let's take a look here. Let's go to rectangle's length. We'll get the circumference length and find out 6 pi. That's because we have 2 times pi times the radius, and the radius is going to be 3. And then we have 2 times 3, which is 6, and then we have pi. So now we have our rectangle's length here. We have its height, and so we can find its area, which is base times height. So there's our 2 pi r, our base times height. So 6 pi times 7, that's going to be 52 pi. Area of a circle is pi r squared. There are two of them. So pi r squared, and our radius is 3, so pi times 3 squared. Let's take a look. Two sets of pi r squared. So that's going to equal 2 times pi times 3 squared, which is going to give us 18 pi. Now all you have to do is add together the areas and you'll get 70 pi. Mmm, delicious. We'll take a look at this 3D shape here. Right, we have our rectangle wrapping around, and then we have our circles top and bottom. Next is our triangular prism. Triangular prism can be difficult for some. It's going to re-invoke the Pythagorean theorem. If you haven't done that in a while, I'd recommend going back and watching that video. We're going to find each length of this triangle. Now, let's look, take a look at the net diagram here. Notice that we have three rectangles 
and then we have two triangles. So the triangle prism is going to have us determine what the surface area is of these two triangles and the three rectangles. Now the triangle's base times height divided by two. We have our base, which is going to be 16. We do not have our height because this 12 is going to be going along the triangle here. It does not give us the actual height. The height is going to be going through the center. So let's go back and I'll show you how to find that. The reason why a Pythagorean theorem is so useful is because when we cut the triangle in half the top there, we can actually take off a 90 degree triangle and put it down to the side. We can then solve for the missing piece of the height, h in this case. So we know a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We have our a, we have our b, and we have our hypotenuse, which is going to be 12. So I set up the equation here for you. 8 squared plus h squared is equal to 12 squared. We're going to subtract 8 squared on both sides. So h is equal to because we're getting rid of the square, the square root of 12 squared minus 8 squared. And that's going to give us an approximate answer of 8.9. We're rounding. Now we're having, now we have our missing pieces here. We can find the surface area of the triangle. So remember there's a front and a back side. So we have two sets of base times height divided by 2. So 16 times the height, 8.9 divided by 2. This can knock out then we have just 16 times 8.9. So 142.4 feet squared. We can now find our missing sides. So let's go back to our net diagram. We have our triangles. Surface area is here, our values. Now we have these two rectangles are the same, 12 times 18. There's two sets of them. So we get 432 feet squared. And then our center piece here, 16 by 18. So 16 times 18, which is 288. Now we found a surface area for each shape here. We can add them all together to have our answer of 762.4 feet squared. You can take a look at that here. And then the bottom of the surface area. And our answer. Okay, thank you for watching. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. Goodbye.